Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today is the Kendra's Card Challenge 15 Super Sponsor Hop featuring Pink and Mame. So me and a few of the other design team members are going to be sharing projects made with products from Pink and Mame and using the sketches from Challenge 15. I will be using sketch number five right here. And I'll show you that in just a bit, but in case you're not familiar with my challenge, I provide a free printable that shows how to cut six sheets of pattern paper efficiently so that you have little to no scraps, and then how to use those pieces on 15 different card sketches. So they're all unique, and the sketches include measurements. So if you only wanna make one card, like what I'm doing today, you can certainly just use what's on here and it gives you everything that you need. So I will link a video above and in the description box on um, details on how you can enter and get um, the free PDF. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I'm working with today. Uh, I, a couple of weeks ago, I shared a video where I created uh, sketches one through three and then 10 through 12 and a couple of other cards using the July Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main. And so today I'm going to continue using that kit, even though it is now August and um, the kit is no longer available. However, you can still purchase the items in the kit. So this is the Happy Days paper pad. I'll just flip through this really quick. It kind of came apart on me. So I did show an unboxing for this Crafty Courtyard kit as well. But I'll just flip through really fast. And you can see I do have some scraps from before but I'm gonna be using just two sheets and you'll see what I do here in just a moment. I also will be using the dice, the die sets that came in the kit and I have two of them here, the Sweet Birds dies and the Floral Banner dies. I have all on one magnetic sheet just so that I can keep it together with the other kit contents and I'll know that it goes with that. But there's birds and then there's also um, banners that you can um, stamp some sentiments onto and then some flowers. So I've already done all of that part so you don't have to watch me putting all these together. I had a little cute little bird left over from my last video so we'll be using this and then I cut out a branch and then I've got a flower and some leaves and then I also have this uh, banner that I used or made in the last video and it says I'll always sing your praises so I plan to use this and then I have a, um, a card base, a white card base, and then I'll probably be using some additional scraps, but this is the stamp set that came in the Crafty Courtyard kit, and it's called Sweet Bird Sentiments, but it is available to purchase separately. And I will also be using, um, this is from the, what's it called? Uh, Layered Scallops Circle Dies. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this piece or not. This is designed to where you can cut two different colors with this die and then layer them up. So you've got two different um, scalloped colors around that go around the circle. So I'm not sure about this yet, but I know I'm gonna be using this because this sketch that I'm using calls for this big circle here. So this layer, the four and a quarter by five and a half inch layer, uh, you could just glue this directly onto the card base, but I will be using a piece of pattern paper for that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let me put some of this stuff away first though. Okay, so I have my white card base already scored and folded, and I'll use those later, but let's go ahead and cut the papers. Now normally I would cut all six sheets and make 15 cards, but because I'm just showing the one today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna change the, um, the layer, the size of this layer. So this is gonna be the back of my card. Um, this is gonna be a four by five and a quarter inch layer rather than a four and a quarter by five and a half inch because I wanna have a white border all the way around the edge of this. So that's gonna be one piece and then I am going to cut the circle out of this but before I do that I'm gonna cut the 
one and a quarter inch strip from this. So I guess it'd be easier just to do the one and a quarter. And then I'm, I'm going to measure this to be five and a quarter instead of five and a half, like the sketch says, mainly because I just want to keep that border. So this is going to go across there. Now I have some scrap papers that I pulled. I'm not sure if I want to use the yellow, probably the purple. So yeah, let me go ahead and cut this purple to be one and a half by five and a quarter. Cut that straight. And then, where did it go? <laughs> okay, so this is going to go across the center, like so. And so now I'm going to take this kind of ombre looking, it's got the darker purple and the lighter down here. I'm going to cut this using my um, die cutting machine. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as well, just in case I wanna use it. So I will cut from the purple and then I will also take a scrap of white cardstock and cut a layer of this out of the white. So let me do that and I will come right back. Okay, so now I have this circle piece cut out with the stitching and then I have these two and these are gonna be layered up and that will go on top. And then this is going to go behind here. And as for the two little banner pieces on the sketch, it says one should be three quarters of an inch by one inch. And I don't really want to use this again, but this is three quarters. Um, ooh, let's see. Okay, cool. This is three quarters of an inch. So that looks good there. I'll use that and then I'm not sure. I think this is an inch. Yeah, I'm not sure I wanna pull that in cause it kinda, the stripes take away from the color scheme I'll have going on. So maybe I'll just use a solid. Hmm, maybe I'll just do the one banner. That's what I'll do. I'll just use the one banner. <laughs> you don't have to follow these sketches exactly. That's uh, one of the great things about card sketches is they're basically there to just help you get started. They're to as a jumping off point. So that's going to go there. And then I'm going to use my branch. Probably going to put that branch way over here on the edge. So we don't want it to just be floating. Well, heck, hmm. I'm just gonna put my bird way up in the air. Hmm, <laughs> I might have to put this bird. Yeah, he could sit on that little bottom, that little bottom branch. And I don't think I wanna use these flowers either because it's not in my color scheme. I know that the bird is kind of a different color and they're not really part of the color scheme. Let's see if this adds to it or takes away. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'll save that for something else. Okay, so the only thing I need to do is make this a banner. And of course I have misplaced my scissors. Oh, here they are. So I'm trying something new with this video and hopefully it won't be too long. I'm trying to do real-time crafting. I would like to eventually be able to live stream and because I make so many cards, I feel like if I did real time, we'd be here for hours. So I always just speed everything up and do a voiceover, but I really wanna to try to do some live streaming here in the next couple of weeks. So um, basically this is the card. I just have to glue everything down. I'm probably not gonna pop anything up with foam tape, mainly because I've got so many layers here and it's already pretty thick. Um, I'm not going to show you me putting the card together on camera since we have a hop going on, but um, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. I will show you a picture of the card. 
I really hope you like it. Now to enter the giveaway for this hop, you'll just want to leave me a comment and complete the form that's in the description box below. And um, then you can hop along and watch the other videos and complete the form again for every video that you watch. That way you'll have more chances to win. So if you are um, not familiar with my challenge, I hope you'll visit KendraScardChallenges.com to get all of the details. But thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you hopping along. Have a wonderful day. Thank <laughs> you.